Everybody, just like her, everybody wants to, to look at what the problems are, the, what the man are, and assume that the mother is a good mother. I have represented so many mothers that still get custody of these kids. But everybody's like, oh, well, 90% of the time, the moms get custody, so there must be a reason on the dad's side. This is what she just said. I no one honestly... looks at the mother's side, though, and wonders, mm -hmm. why is it that even with women being poor mothers, they get custody 90% of the time? So I recently came across this clip of a woman giving advice after being on a show called All the Single Ladies, which is an unscripted series on modern dating and black women. Hey, so I was recently on an episode of All the Single Ladies on OWN, and since then I've been getting so many messages, but mostly from women that are in long-term relationships and marriages that want out, but they feel guilty because really nothing is that bad. Like, they're fine, except they're not actually happy. You gotta be kidding me. So let's get this straight. After simply appearing on a television show, crowds of women began messaging this woman, asking for relationship advice that they admitted themselves they really didn't need because there was nothing wrong with their relationship. Well, you know, besides the fact that they weren't feeling as happy as they wanted to. Marriage vows? Ah, who cares? The kids? They'll be all right. It's all about her happiness. And a lot of them say they're scared to start over and all that stuff, which yes, I get it, but what do you actually want? Do you want personal happiness? Because if that's the case and like you, you've tried everything in that relationship and you know it's not going anywhere, I think you know what to do. They don't know what they want. They're chasing a feeling that is constantly fleeting. And it's a shame that so many modern women have convinced themselves that everything can be going absolutely right. Nothing wrong. But yet they'll still think to themselves the grass is greener on the other side. That they can find a better man out there. Or that they're just better off being single. But if you want to appear happy to everyone else and just check off some societal norms, stay in that relationship. But like, is that what you really want to do? And um, if you have kids, don't don't ask me. I did not have kids, and so I I'm sure that makes the decision way harder. But I will say I but I will say I have seen people get out of the long relationships, marriages, find a new partner, get remarried, um, and. The parent, the new person is a great step parent. The kids are happier that their parent is happy. So it's definitely possible. Like, don't count that out, but don't listen to me because I really, I don't know the kid's situation. I so you're saying there's a chance. Great sound advice to give there. You know, it's great to see women seeking such good, helpful advice from other women who are so well versed on successful relationships and happiness. No, but seriously, this fantasy that we see women creating in their head, chasing this endless journey on a search for whatever true happiness is, is sad because relationships are work. Every day is not going to be a happy day. Sometimes there's going to be struggles. Sometimes there's going to be trials and tribulations, have you? And if more women were actually honest and told each other that, well, so many wouldn't be so lost. All these modern women believe that they deserve the highest quality guy. Modern women are like high school athletes who all believe that they are five-star recruits who can play for a power five school or get a power five guy. When reality is the majority of them are more like two, three-star recruits that qualify for a low mid-major type guy. But most of them don't even want to settle for that guy despite the fact that that's what they actually qualify for. But then you have some who commit to the low mid-major guy but still believe that they can do better so at the first sign of trouble, they transfer hoping to get an offer from the power five guy. Modern women will sit around waiting for the DM or interest from a power five guy hoping they receive a full ride scholarship to a long term committed relationship with the hopes of ultimately being a first round selection pick in the wife's association draft. But the issue is a lot of these women don't even engage in introspective assessment or have the self awareness to know that they don't qualify for a power five guy. Not to mention the level of skill and character development necessary to even qualify for a power five guy. Most of the women who think they qualify for a power five guy don't even have what the power five guy is looking for. They don't have the preferred facial aesthetics. They don't have a preferred BMI or waist to hip ratio. They don't have a preferred age. And they don't have a preferred fecundity. And many of these women lack the femininity, the loyalty, the compassion, the patience, the teachability, the open-mindedness and empathy, the agreeableness, mental stability, emotional maturity, and effective conflict management skills to even be an asset to a power five guy. But the fact that they're unwilling to settle despite not qualifying will be the reason that they go undrafted, get cut and remain free agents, and ultimately have to retire.
So recently, you guys know about the TikTok vlogger who went viral for her false accusations against the man at the gym. And only after receiving such a huge backlash from what seems like the entire internet did she decide to come out and finally apologize. But some are saying the apology only really came because she was worried about missing out on sponsorship offers. Which is probably closer to the truth than her actually feeling bad about what she did and trying to accuse this man of doing really essentially nothing. And in comes this woman who lets you know what the gym experience is like for most women who go to the gym. As you can see, my sweaty ass is in the gym. Ew, this is how you know you work out too much when you start getting squats. Anyway, I'm posting this video because I keep seeing girls and specific girls posting videos about how uncomfortable they feel in the gym and how they're getting harassed and shit. And it's just a clout chasing operation, but it's a dangerous one because you're going to start making men feel uncomfortable to want to work out and that's not fair. Exhibit A. People are minding their business. They're just working out. See that? Look, no look. Behind me. They don't care. They're minding their business. They're doing their thing. Why are you women trying to catch them out on some clout chasing bullshit? Leave men alone when they're in the gym. They're not troubling you. There's too much crying wolf going on and it's dangerous and it needs to stop. It's not funny. It's not an interesting trend. It's not benefiting women. It's not helping women. It's just calling you out for you being sick. Well, how surprising. Turns out men just want to go to the gym and work out and not be bothered either. Now we turn our attention to Fox 26 News in Houston, who thought it would be a good idea to invite two women onto their panel to discuss the passport bros. Unfortunately for them, they didn't do their research on one of the women, or they really just didn't care and they just wanted to find someone to bash men. Supposed to do this last week, we're doing it this week. Mm -hmm. You have done a lot of research. When you think about and what you've heard about Passport Bros, your opinion on this so-called group. Let me tell you, they weren't even on my radar. You brought it up to me and then I saw it and I was just like, oh, that's cute. You know, guys go and get their passports. My son just got his passport last week, he nine. So that's cool, Passport Brothers, that's what's up. Then I started doing the research and I'm like, wait a minute because i grew up you know with two parent household my parents still happily married how i grew up in love some people grew up in survival mode and maybe mm -hmm. they just in a whole nother dimension of trying to find love or trying to find easy situations and everything but at the same time it was like why do you have to put down the thing that you don't like in front of everybody just to get the thing that you do want i don't care but that being black women in america putting yeah. them down for women who may be of color in another country right that want to be a little also submissive exactly to them exactly but also paid prostitution in Facts. many cases and that's what they covering up and you can tell that by the way that what's his name austin Mm -hmm. was talking because I saw the other videos of him going like, hey, you would have uh, <laughs> sexual intercourse with me tonight, right? And she's saying, yes, they about to really get a lick on him. That's what's really about to happen. Because I also saw, also saw some of the women from overseas saying, yeah, we're just trying to get a lick. You know, they also came out saying, we, we know these passport bros. They not new. Mm -hmm. So essentially, they're, they're chumps themselves. Yes. <laughs> they're simply John <laughs> on the streets of America. They might be they might be some that might be actually looking for love that can't find it maybe in America. But and you, you, and you right. didn't it you didn't let so. some it, you didn't let some rotten apples into y'all group and y'all need to call the ones out that's not doing it correctly. You know, it's funny how she talks about research and her son having a passport because it turns out there was some research done on her. And well, what do you know? She has, wait for it, an OnlyFans. <laughs> and <laughs> You can't make this up. Two baby daddies. I want to now turn your attention to this lovely lady's Instagram page. Because I think the context of who's talking is important. So this is Rochelle Gemini, you know, the woman who they called upon to actually give commentary about the passport bros. So she is a, a I guess, a mom, a poet, author, playwright, artist, chef. Uh, she got all these acronyms. She's so she's doing her thing here, you know, looks like she's single based upon the different photos that she has posted. She definitely has single vibes. Um, and okay, so it says on the news last night. Yeah, so she's showing some of her different recipes, some of her different news outlets. Her it looks like her meditation, her workout. And oh, bam, look what we got over here. On, an OnlyFans page. An OnlyFans page. Wow. Imagine that imagine can't that. make it up her, her 
who she is personally. I'm not saying she's a bad woman, but I'm saying the lifestyle that she has chosen to live as a poet, artist, vegan chef. I saw an, another um, I saw another news article that she was featured in that said that she has two kids from two different men. She said she grew up from a in a loving family, but I I've seen no talk of marriage. I don't see a ring. She had, she has an OnlyFans page. So you have a single baby mama with you know two kids from two different men. Okay, with an OnlyFans page, fine. But I'm like you're she is now being the person that you're choosing to try to shame the passport bros because they want traditionally minded women. She's not a traditionally minded woman based upon her own lifestyle that she's chosen. And bam. There you have it. There you have it. And it's just really distasteful that a news outlet like Fox would ignore this about her or just totally not even look in depth enough to find this information out about doing a simple Google search that a couple YouTubers found out in five minutes and chose her to come on a panel and talk about passport bros. Because when we really put back the layers, then you discover and find out, oh, you're mad because there are women taking money out of your pocket. They're messing with your hustle. I see now. And here's the thing. There are so many women in Western culture, modern women in the U.S., who they think they're better than other women. Women from these other countries, these third world countries, these places that aren't America. That's why they're so quick to judge and say these women only want these men because they're poor. They only want them for their money. They only want a lick. Well, how different is that from America, where single moms are far more dependent on government assistance than single dads. So the question that I think we all know the answer to is, is it really about foreign women in other countries getting a lick or being exploited? Or just maybe, is it about other women moving in and making you compete? Anyway, guys, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. As always, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Hit that like and subscribe button to continue enjoying more content and you already know. Until next time.